Hello everybody and welcome to your reading. We are going to explore where you are destined to shine and stand out and succeed this lifetime and also bring you some advice from spirit on how to activate the magic within to reach that destined potential that is just there within you at your fingertips. So look at the three different peacocks and decide which one of them is calling to you. I will start with the first one. There are timestamps listed for all of them below. Hello to everybody who chose the gold peacock. So right away, you guys are meant to really stand out, really succeed okay in your craft whatever you are talented in and this is something that may have been with you since as far as you can remember back into childhood or this could be something that's going to awaken within you kind of out of nowhere show up in your life and you're going to realize wow i'm a total natural at this and with this gold peacock you guys are meant to be like a star at what you do. So that could be literally like having a presence in the public eye in some capacity, whether through art, through music, through social media. That could be, you know, writing. That could be creating your own very, very successful business. It's just you have a gift. And you are meant to go to the highest possible potential of success with that gift. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. We have the sacral chakra with money. And the sacral chakra coming through is your creative energy it's your water chakra so there's a lot of creativity in you and you know being creative doesn't mean that you're always coming up with these super unique ideas one after another after another it's saying to you that you have your own unique style and people will resonate with that people will admire that finances power generosity abundance see I knew like you guys are meant to really go as far as possible with this gift, this idea that lives within you. And I feel for most of you, you know what it is. And maybe you're already in the movement, the pursuit of, of it. And this is a huge confirmation of yes, keep moving forward. Even if things feel a little stagnated, a little stale. So let's pull some astro dice and gain more insight. And we're going to go with whatever is on the top of the dice. All right, so we have Aquarius energy, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, some of you are so ahead of your time all right we have venus pluto second house and fourth house All right, so Venus is the ruler of the second house, Taurus, as well as the seventh house of Libra. Okay, so I'm going to put Venus right there. Venus and the second house in conjunction is teaching you lessons around abundance, creating abundance, generating money, your assets, building um, assets, your resources, okay? So this gift, talent, and ability, you are absolutely meant to make money at that. And Venus here again, 
that is um, a symbol of creativity, all right? Venus is the divine feminine energy, and within each and every one of us, our divine feminine energy is our sacral chakra, whether we are a masculine or a feminine, okay? So you are meant to have a lot of abundance and really stand out. And here with Aquarius and Sagittarius energy, higher mind, higher spirituality. You are an old soul, a wise soul. You connect with the spiritual realms, whether you realize it or not, okay? You receive a lot of information, a lot of ideas from the higher realms because with this Aquarius energy here, this is you being like ahead of your time, being very innovative, being uniquely you, all right? Now with this fourth, house energy coming through. I feel this is um, kind of a deterrent. Like I'm feeling that this is the energy that drives you. This is the outcome of that energy, but this is what challenges you. And fourth house is home, family, roots, stability. And so I feel to come into like full evolution full potential to this gift, talent, ability that exists within you, you're going to have to overcome some sort of karma or um, like emotional baggage. There's just a lot of challenge around family or home stability situations and that could have been like in childhood or that could be what you're currently facing right now. But Spirit's saying you can absolutely overcome that. Like that's the one challenge and with Aquarius and Sagittarius coming through along with Pluto, Pluto is incredibly transformative, okay? Pluto rules Scorpio and um, Scorpio is eighth house energy, which is death, rebirth, transformation, Phoenix rising from the ashes, okay? So Pluto is going to transform you out of this energy but in order for that to happen it's like we've got to gain all the lesson of it and allow the healing and you know Sagittarius is Chiron the wounded healer through your pains through your challenges it really does expand you and evolve you and mold you into your greatest potentials okay so let's um, pull an Archangel and see what archangels are coming in to assist you. And look in your natal chart and see where Pluto and Venus occupy which house. Because it, it moves stronger energy where you have a planetary placement in your chart and a focus of that area of your life. Because some of you, you know, this could be technology a technology idea some of you this could be healing medicine okay it's different for all of you some of you this could be very spiritual all right well this one definitely wanted to come out all right Jophiel forgiveness and that goes back to that energy right there so we will place her there and Hanyal, integrity. All right. And you know, um, I'm seeing the sacral chakra, the divine feminine energy here, and then the solar plexus chakra, divine masculine energy through the yellow there. And, um, you know, here we have the scales. And Venus also rules Libra, which is seventh house, um, is the scales in the tarot deck is karma, is balance, okay? So everything that you've gone through and been through is not a punishment. It's been growing you and expanding you and bringing you into alignment with this potential within. And this is like where everybody didn't believe in you and look at you now. And who's laughing now? type of energy. There is something within you that is meant to make you wealthy, keep you comfortable, provide for you, give you 
um, stability and foundation in all the ways that you have missed out or you've lacked through this um, for the fourth house. Okay, the struggle of, you know, strong family ties, feeling like you belong, feeling um, like you're rooted. This could be like you've even been homeless, okay, or a lot of just really hard living situations. But you're going to overcome that, absolutely. And ha Archangel Haniel and, and Joe Fiel is working with you. Call upon these Archangels. It's like it's time to forgive the past. Let it go. Let the scales balance. Because as you do, the balancing of those scales is to really raise you up and bring you into that place of abundance. Look at that. We have loss, lack, fear, victimization. So we're going to put that there because that's just like this here is your challenge for sure. Summoning power, instinct, intellect, control. And interesting because this is card four. So this challenge, you are going to overcome it. And I feel part of overcoming this challenge really set you up for the fast progression of this success, okay? And again, this is a talent, an ability, an idea that you have inside of you. It could be something that's already in motion, but it's just like not really moving, not gaining a lot of traction. You're getting very discouraged. And so it's like, instead of pushing yourself harder and trying to work harder, you need to focus on healing and forgiving what should have been but never was or what happened okay it's time to work on forgiving that and i also find it interesting <coughs> excuse me this is card four this is card 14 this is card 34 so we have those fours showing up okay and so um the one here that could speak of your root chakra which would go right back to this instability fear lack okay and then here the three for this 34 third chakra solar plexus chakra okay um big time healing needed to take place in the solar plexus chakra we manifest from there we get intuitive promptings from there we channel from there that's where we gain upon our inner strength that is the light within when we are in total total and utter darkness okay do some meditations to really work on healing that solar plexus chakra. And um, four is the number of stability and foundation, but also um, the fourth chakra is the heart chakra. So we got the fours coming in really, really strong. So I would say do some heart chakra because we see that forgiveness is needed as well. In fact, um, I would do a focus of the heart chakra down through the root chakra for you guys and I would do that daily because once this is um, healed like you're expanded and evolved beyond it that's when um, movement comes in that's when success starts happening yeah wow look at this queen of wands with the empress and that the, um, wands is movement right but also in the tarot deck um, this is the card that represents Venus Okay, so you have Venus there, Venus there, and what's depicted on this card of the Empress it is so synchronistic because this, we're talking about something that's inside of you, right? And in order for this to birth, we've got to clear this energy, but then you're unstoppable, then you're on fire. In fact, we're going to put the Empress right there at the center. So we have the tower. Oh, I'm sorry, I have the deck upside down. You know what? That's how you feel upside down, but you're about to go right side up. Ooh, Knight of Wands. Look at that fast moving energy of the wands. 
with the tower unexpected okay the chariot victory success the devil through your dedication and overcoming the devil and four of cups okay so even though this is a destiny for you there are multiple destinies for you in this lifetime and different realities that you can jump into okay but where you exist right now this is the next step for you in this reality is to finally have success and give birth to this idea this talent this ability this dream that has been within you for so so long and your success is going to utterly shock you this here is the only thing that's truly been standing in your way even if you're like well I need to buy these things I need this education I need this this and this all of those things will just naturally fall into place it's truly this right here the heart chakra through the root chakra that needs balance needs healing the shadow energy needs to be faced healed and released because then it allows you to be on solid footing once again and and when you're on solid footing then this can birth all right you're going to overcome the demons but it's like if you choose not to there's an element of missed opportunity and look at we got the four again right there the four again it, it won't grow into as much potential as it as it can and that's why spirit brought you here is like you've got this let the scales balance out In fact, look at that. That um, the only only minor arcana that's not a cart card is the four. Four is very significant for you guys. Oh, and as I say that, look at that four of um, pentacles, two of swords, eight of swords, chariot, C, seven of cups, two of cups. All right, so many of you, this is a family member, a romantic partnership that really hurt you, and Six of Pentacles, okay? And here we go again with the scale, right? Don't let what's happened in the past take away from what you could be right now and what could come in the future, all right? Because this movement of this Queen of Wands energy is blocked until this is faced. And the way things can just rapidly change, almost magically change for you, you don't see that just yet. And again, here it is with this Knight of Wands, a very fast-moving energy blocked through the Eight of Swords. See, blindfolded on both here. And we're blindfolded by a pain, a heartache of the past around a relationship. Okay, could be family relationship, friend, friendship, romantic, or multiple relationships. But it's time for that energy to balance out within you, for it to not hurt you, haunt you, harm you any longer. It's time for the birth of your dream, of your success. And you're going to go far. The gold peacock, you are meant to be top level as far as you can go incredibly successful you are meant to experience that but right now this right here is the only thing that is holding you back is holding you down and spirit brings that to your attention so that you can clear this and meditation will be so helpful to you um every night and it might not seem like much but it will and if you can get reiki or energy um healing balancing i highly recommend that as well because this is success as success gets all right you got the the uh 
chariot times two and also with that with the chariot it's not an easy victory with the chariot you've gone in separate directions with inside yourself and you've had to regain your balance regain your footing get everything in alignment and moving back forward again and you have and you're gonna have your success um, chariot is cancer energy devil is capricorn energy all this wands um, fire Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then you do have this Aquarius and Sagittarius energy up here. So that could just uh, be very synchronistic for you to know, oh yes, this is my reading. I resonate with it. Archangel Haniel and Jophiel want to help you maintain your integrity. It's like what happened in the past. Learn and grow from that to be different from it rather than become bitter and poisoned by it because in that space when you choose to learn and grow from it you allow the scales to balance out and for you this is bringing you a lot of money a lot of abundance through something that you are about to birth okay this is such a beautiful reading like rags to riches type of story There's your artwork. And it's set. Look at heart healing. Morning now has had its time. Do not pay it a single dime. Emerge from the darkness. A new day starts. Let light embrace the healing heart. What a beautiful. And look at it's coming out of the darkness back up into the light. How perfect is that after this whole message yeah and you're walking up into that abundance into that money and being comfortable okay you deserve that know that spirit wants you to have that the all the abundance of life venus is our indulgence our luxury the things that we love and second house is our assets our resources things that we value and that's where you're rising into all right so those are your messages i am sending you lots of love and light take care hello to everybody who chose the white peacock so right away there is a sense of purity about your vibration you are a light to many whether it's through your conversation your advice the way you help the way you take care of things the way that you care the way that you empath empathize with somebody you are a light first and foremost know that secondly you are a very gifted healer or you are very gifted in some sort of spirituality whether it's your intuition being an empath being psychic mediumship etc all right but you are a light and where you are meant to shine the most is amongst all of humanity all right but i feel if you choose a career path of healing or spirituality you're really going to thrive and come into a lot of abundance through one of those paths and a healer could be somebody who's holistic medicine somebody who does reiki um, a nurse an rn a doctor a therapist a counselor okay there are endless ways that we are healers and you have your own niche those of you that the healing aspect really resonates you have your own unique way you are a light okay and those of you where this is more uh, like spiritually based of a gift not only are you a light to humanity but i also feel for many of you a light to really lost souls who can't quite make the transition um you do a lot of work with that whether you are aware of it or not at this time so let's pull some more cards and go deeper
All right, look at this. We have the solar plexus chakra, confidence, self-love, self-worth, pride, self-esteem. This here is your divine masculine energy within, whether you are a feminine or a masculine. And look at here on the bottom is actually the sacral chakra, the divine feminine energy within. And so we're going to take that because the money, like I said, it's like if you choose a career path of like a spiritually based business or a healing business, you're really going to go far with that. You're going to come into a lot of abundance with that. But <clears throat> for you guys, the advice that's coming in is you need some balance in that divine feminine, divine masculine energy within you. Because this is where we manifest from, we create from. This is your water chakra, this is your fire chakra, okay? And Spirit's bringing your attention to these two chakras and saying right here, we need to focus, we need to balance this out because when these two chakras are in perfect working order, everything is crystal clear for you. You channel perfectly, you intuit perfectly, um, you feel full of energy to heal, to help others, all right? But for you guys, for whatever reason, these two chakras tend to get really out of balance, okay? And this could be because we've had a lot of uh, disappointments. We have shame, guilt, sadness, feelings of unworthiness that you really, really struggle with. Spirit wants to help get you out of those energies because when you know your worth, you know your value, you feel confident, you feel good, you're in balance, all right? And things flow very, very nicely for you. But these um, chakras, you're in, you know, this card was going to be next, devotions, feelings, expressions, moods, balance. You have a lot of unresolved emotion within, um, maybe I'm feeling like you don't feel like you have a voice and it's either like you, there's things that you just can't say, you have to hold your tongue or it's like, what's the point of even expressing myself, my truth to X, Y, Z because they wouldn't care anyways. It's like something has happened and you feel powerless like you've given your power away and spirit wants you to reclaim it all right so we're going to pull some astro dice and we're going to go with what's on the top of the dice all right so we have pisces and you know that was jumping out to me with the two fish but now that we got the pisces energy coming through some of you um could be pisces or this is just attached to 12th house energy, which is something that you're meant to finish and overcome this life journey. Next, we have Taurus. Taurus is second house energy ruled by Venus, which is divine feminine energy, okay? So your divine feminine, whether you are a feminine or a masculine, really does need attention. Wow, and look at this. We've got Mar uh, Mars, we've got Neptune, which is the ruler of Pisces, okay? So that is synchronistic. And now we have Mars, and guess what? Um, Mars is the divine masculine energy. And here we have divine masculine. So it's interesting how, you know, through Taurus, that could be a representation of Venus. And so you got through the dice even that divine um, feminine and masculine energy coming out and what what's troubling you and uh, what you're struggling with is eighth house energy and fourth house energy man this reading is so similar um like the imbalance within coming through like not the message overall but the imbalance within and the dice it's crazy all right so 8th house energy is death and rebirth. It's transformational. It's where we transition, where we change the phoenix rising from the ashes. And then the 4th um, house energy there, our family, our roots, our stability, our home, our foundation. You've been really, really let down. You've been really hurt. You've been really screwed over by people that you thought you were supposed to be able to trust. You feel like... Um, 
at this point like you don't want to get caught in the illusion of another because you feel like you have been illusioned you have been lied to you have been betrayed okay and it's really distorted your divine feminine masculine energies within but also with the Pisces and the Neptune those of you that are healers or spiritually gifted boom right there you have it all pay attention to your dreams as well okay you do a lot of work on the astral realm and you receive a lot of insight through dreams okay and with the Pisces energy I do feel this struggle of eighth house fourth house that distorts your own energies within like the trauma the emotional baggage of it is attached to 12th house is this right here and you will overcome this and once this is overcome this is something that will not trouble you or challenge you the rest of this life journey or any lifetime to come because you're you're totally evolving here out of lessons of 8th house 4th house through Pisces 12th house energy with the help of Neptune and it's like the veil is being lifted the rose colored glasses are coming off and spirit wants to show you yourself all of yourself okay and help you really balance out because when you are just in perfect alignment you what you can do is magic let's see what archangels are coming in So we got Archangel Gabriel with balance. Wow. That's the divine messenger. Okay, you definitely have a connection to the angelic realm. And now we have Archangel Metatron with mercy. And look at, that's the healer. Oh my gosh. The divine messenger, which is you, if you're spiritually gifted. The divine healer with the mercy through Archangel Metatron. All right, if you're a healer, just look at that. So Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Metatron are working with you. They want to help you see, help you face the shadow. That's the eighth house is shadow. Okay, they want to help you face the shadow of the traumas you've experienced through fourth house. And also with the, like, the roots, there is some aspect of like karmic balancing. But again, once you overcome this, you evolve, you heal from this, this trouble the challenges associated it's not going to haunt you again it's not and you will um, have a better sense of self that divine feminine divine masculine energy within okay so let's pull some more cards also taurus second house assets things you value resources Okay, as a um, spiritual based business or as a healer of some capacity, you are meant to come into a lot of abundance through that. Okay, and some of you may even come into like an inheritance here. All right, precognition psychic ability future vision wow look at that yeah this side over here and look at card 13 card 13 in the tarot it's the death card which is the card that represents scorpio and scorpio eighth house is the house of scorpio but here yes somebody very very psychic very intuitive river of blessings releasing constraints Yeah, see, you are meant to have a lot of abundance, a lot of comfort, a lot of joy, this life journey. You are a light. And unfortunately, being a light, and I know this because I am one as well, um, some people just look at that and they want to take advantage of it, right? And they want to play on your emotions and they'll meet you very genuinely 
heart to heart, sharing their story, sharing their life, sharing their pain, almost like they're trying to give it to you. And then you take it on, right? And then they're gone, nowhere to be seen again. And you feel used, you feel taken advantage of. But spirits like, once you balance these energies out, you will have boundaries, all right? It, it's so important to have boundaries and have love and respect and worth for self because when you do, there are some things that you are just not going to put up with. There are some things that you are just not going to put yourself through. But when we are very distorted and out of balance, um, we open ourselves to codependent relationships. Some of us um, align to for just accepting scraps of love. Uh, some of us create these uh, trauma bond relationships. Okay, so spirits really leading you to these two chakras, uh, encouraging you to meditate, to balance, to heal them, to really immerse yourself in your spiritual gift or your healing gift and that's your path that's what you're meant to be this life journey and the Taurus energy that's very healing as well so it's like Taurus healer Pisces psychic look at which has jumped out the world this is the card that um, represents Saturn in the tarot deck This is coming to an end, and you're evolving into a whole new world. Like I said, this doesn't hurt you or haunt you anymore. Page of Pentacles. Ace of Wands, see there's the new you. The Fool. The High Priestess. Nine of Swords. And the Star, wow. The High Priestess actually represents the moon in the tarot. You would think the moon would represent the moon in the tarot, but the moon in the tarot represents Pisces. So the High Priestess is a representation of the moon energy. And um, just there and then here, that, man, some of you are so spiritually gifted, whether you channel, um, whether you do tarot cards, you intuit, you're an empath, you're psychic, you have um, prophetic dreams, all right? This is spirit confirming, yes, this is your path, this is your destiny, and the star, the star is all about healing, and that goes to those of you who are healers, but the, the thing that holds you back is this nine of swords of this trauma that really needs to be faced, addressed, and when you do so, you're not going to feel so afraid, so nervous. Because when we're constantly fearing, like, creating new connections because we're just going to be used, we're just going to be taken advantage of, we're just going to be lied to, we're only allowing our energy to pull those kind of people into our life, into our reality, okay? But when you focus here... And you really heal and balance. And, and through that process, you're going to start facing the shadow. You are going to start facing your trauma within. Things just don't get to you like they did. Things can't throw you off kilter like they once did. You've got the, the world and the fool side by side. Yes, the healing here closes the door on your past. And you start a whole new journey through the fool as uh, doing your spiritual gift or as a healer.
two of cups, six of cups, and yes, you have a divine companion or somebody who will be a really amazing friend, okay? A spiritually based connection. Yeah, and look at Ace of Swords right after I say that. The Emperor, there's that divine masculine energy. Again, because the Emperor um, is Mars. This is the card that represents, I'm sorry, this is the card that represents Aries, and Aries is ruled by Mars. You got the Fool again. Look at that. King of Wands. You will, your spirit will evolve beyond these troubles. And the Two of Swords. You hold yourself back. Okay, some of you, because you don't believe in yourself and in your gift. In your talent as a healer. like Or as, you know, um, somebody intuiting messages. You don't believe in yourself. And when we're not in balance, it's like... The messages we get are a hit or a miss. But when you are balanced, you're aligned and your messages are going to be 100% spot on, on point. Okay? Um, you got the fool and then the fool. It is time to close the chapter on this life because you're done with those experiences. You're ready to evolve beyond them and go that next step, which I see you becoming like the leader as you know a spiritually based business or a healer you have a lot of energy a lot of power within you okay and there is a new relationship that's going to be coming into your life very very soon from the time that you watch this reading whether this is just um a like soul companion friend or this is a romantic soulmate connection for you either way it is soulmate and you guys are part of the same soul tribe and you're gonna find a lot of happiness within this person you guys are gonna have great communication you're very much similar i see you both as like the fool in that capacity okay um and they i feel are gonna be like spiritually gifted or a healer of some capacity as well um, very strong that this new person could be a fire energy, um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And we got really strong Aries energy and Pisces energy in this reading as well. All right, so Spirit is saying, yes, this is your path, this is your destiny, but we've got to focus on what's clogging these up right here. And once that is in order, and you're healed, oh my gosh, you are going to go so, so very far with your gift. You are, and it's your destiny. It's what you're meant to do. It's what you're meant to be. And, you know, I started out um, as an accountant, went to school, everything, and here I am, a tarot reader. Things change. Wow, look at the artwork on that. Walkabout. You discover your path in sacred walkabout. The trees are your people. The earth is your tribe. In indigenous lessons, you find the will to survive. And I feel like this, being all tattered and torn apart, is like a representation of how you're currently feeling. But look at this next um, image of, of this. I wasn't going to pull two, but this is what you're evolving into because you're a light. And look at it, it says patience. Everything soon will come to light, and then you will see things will be all right. Pass this on. Yes, things are going to be all right for you. Um, we've just got to heal and balance these energies. All right. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello to everybody who chose the green peacock. Let's get into your reading. Um, oh, wow, look at we have the uh, sacral emotions and sexuality. I was about to say for you guys, I'm feeling like heart chakra. 
relationship or money like money green money so let's get into your reading and see what spirit says where are they meant to shine So we have the root chakra, grounding, nature, presence, practicality, stability. You are definitely somebody who keeps it together, who holds it down. Okay, and I think at times you really don't want that task or that responsibility. Like you really wish and desire that there were more people around you in your life that were as strong as you, you know, that you feel like you could count on, that you could lean on. It's kind of like you're the cleaner, the the fixer-upper, um, the person who always comes in behind people and picks up their slack or makes sure X, Y, and Z is done right or you just do it all yourself because, again, it's like people just don't care or they just they don't have the same level in getting things done and doing things that you do and so I just see like you were very frustrated because you don't want to be the one that always has to fix it pick it up hold it down you know whatever the case may be so let's pull some astro dice and go deeper into this message The spirit says you're shining. You shine so bright. You do amazing at this. Okay, um, you could truly run circles around people. Your your like level of productivity, the way you handle things, the way you handle stress, like. All right, so. We have a Scorpio energy, and we're going with the um, what rolled out on top, and Pisces energy. So a lot of emotion here. And next we have Mars. And we have Mercury. And then we have the sixth and the seventh house, like this is so synchronistic oh my gosh so sixth house duties routine responsibilities obligations okay right next to seventh house relationships yeah that's why i was picking up the like the relationships the heart chakra you're tired of it you oh i didn't where did mercury go there's mercury you you don't want to shine here anymore. You don't want to be good at that. And this Scorpio Pisces energy coming through, you could be a Scorpio or a Pisces. All right. But this is really talking about the depth of the way that you care about things, even the smallest of things. Like if you are on a team of, say, five people and you all are delegated the same amount of of work you could do the work of three people on your team and not only that it these people would also be coming to you when they get stuck or they get confused they don't um, know why something's not working or what does this mean like they'll come to you and spirits really trying to emphasize you don't know how special you are in your ability people just aren't genuinely made like you are the way that you care the way that you give the way that you feel because you get stuff done with mars like you get it done in fact i every single one of you should be a leader like your own business or um in management supervisor level in whatever you do Okay, because you just, oh man, I am struggling to articulate because it's like there's this very soft, tender, empathic, caring energy about you. But also with Mars and Mercury, 
you know how to get things done. You can put people in their place. Um, you're very quick-witted. You're very intelligent, okay? Um, and for whatever reason, this lifetime, like, you signed up for a lot of obligation, a lot of responsibility when it comes to relationships in your life, okay? So let's pull some more cards to explore further, go deeper, because I feel like this, there's more to come from this. And it's like, I do feel many of you should be your own business owner. You're not somebody that should be taking orders from anybody. It's like you are the one that should be giving the orders if you're not. Like you're intuitive, your gut instincts, your feelings are right, but man, also you are smart as a whip. All right, Archangels Jophiel with forgiveness. And Archangel Michael with patience. Okay, so um, the yellow there is really reminding me of the solar plexus chakra, your divine masculine energy, your leadership, your personal empowerment, and it is very, very strong in you. But also have forgiveness for those around you who are incapable of operating at your level, whether it's mentally, emotionally, physically, or spiritually, because you are definitely cut from a different cloth. And Archangel Michael works with you. There's a lot of protection from him around you, but also um, part of like your cleverness and, and quick-witted nature is you channeling from Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael giving you direction, giving you strengths, okay? So these two Archangels are working with you. Call upon them at any time. But Archangel Michael is saying right now, you need to have patience with yourself and others, and you need to forgive something here, whether it's the people around you or like, why does this always happen to me? Why does the responsibility always fall upon me it's because you're able and capable of handling it where most others just are not and think of it like this if you were the star player on a basketball team okay and it's, yeah see if you're on a team in any capacity you are the star player okay but on, if you're a star player on a basketball team, you're not going to be angry that more is expected of you than your other teammates, right? Because you've earned that through your uh, demonstration of ability. That That's how you became the top basketball player on your team. And you're celebrated for that, and you do work harder. Look at whatever this is for you personally uh, in that same light is you're the star of the show whether others around you see it and appreciate it or not spirits acknowledging it right divine mother nurturing compassion and grace and look at that sitting right next to these water energies. Angelic assistance, divine guidance, loving support. And that's coming from Archangel Michael right there assisting you. And I just noticed this, okay? This is card six. This is card six. And you've got the sixth house here. So you guys are very sixth house focus this life journey I would look at your natal chart um, me personally I'm a sixth house Pisces that's um, where the zodiac will was at the time of my birth it was in the sixth house and so I'm a sixth house Pisces so I understand you guys all right and I feel many of you whatever your sun sign is many of you are in that sixth house energy as well okay um, so check your natal chart um, I would say a second house, sixth house, tenth house. See what's going on in those spaces. And if your sun 
is in any one of those spaces, then that's just another synchronicity that, yes, like this life journey, you signed up to have a lot of obligation and responsibility, okay? Take care, taking care of a lot of things, a lot of people, whether you are a feminine or a masculine, you're coming through as the divine mother energy, very nurturing, very compassionate, very strong. You are a leader, Okay, you absolutely are. And Archangel Michael is with you, is always offering you help and truth and protection. Know that he wants you to call upon him much, much more than you do because you do struggle dealing with, you know, having such a heavier load, feeling like you have to work harder. And the thing is, it's because you are able, you are capable. And just a lot of people are not able and capable of what you are. Wow, look at, yep, King of Wands. That's you, whether you're a masculine or a feminine. And you know, Spirit just gave me this thought is, you know, you don't have to work in an office making 150000 a year or um, be a social media star to be relevant, to be needed, to matter, okay? You've got to think about it like this. We are all part of the world, and we all have our jobs to do. Imagine if the truck drivers just said, you know what, driving a truck is you know makes me unworthy of achieving certain things so I'm no longer going to drive my truck part of our supply a uh, supply chain would stop thus causing huge issues all over the country um you know think of it that way every person and what they do and what they bring has value and in this lifetime some people are going to be big stars and are going to be ridiculously overpaid for a job that they do that's far less in productivity of what you accomplish and what you put out but that does not diminish you or make you less your job what it is you do the income that you earn what you have all is energy and you can truly obtain and acquire anything and everything you want in this life journey Okay, but I'm getting that you're a very humble soul. And it's not about, you know, being rich or being famous. It's like, I just want to breathe. I want to be comfortable. I want to be content. I want to be abundant. And you absolutely deserve that. Okay, but you are a very, very strong soul. And you can just handle so much more than the average person. Queen of Cups, yeah, see, um, we got that water energy strong inside of you, Ten of Wands. Emotionally, you can handle things that most people can't. Wow, King of Swords, look at you. You are a master emotionally, mentally, spiritually. The Sun, <laughs> Nine of Wands. You're tired of the role, though. Uh, yeah, Seven of Pentacles. You're like, I'm tired of patience. I'm tired of waiting for my moment. But it's coming. And it's like whatever you do, whoever you are, you count. You matter. Okay? Um, the If you work in a grocery store, we need grocery stores. If you work at a gas station, we need a gas station. If you're a doctor, we need doctors. Every job out there is needed to be filled. And I don't know why Spirit is having me harp on this. But it's like no matter what, what it is that you do, it's not insignificant or less than anybody else in what they're doing. All right? Spirit's saying to you, you accomplish more than the average person and let nobody make you feel bad or feel less of yourself no matter what your profession is I've just some of you you're very 
um, guarded around that. Like you take a lot of pride in what you do and when somebody tries to belittle you or make you feel small like oh you know don't you want more for yourself or something like ignore all of that okay if you are happy in what you do and where you are that's everything that's everything wherever you are whatever job you do you bring the sun with you okay and you carry a load ten times more so than the average person and I know that you're tired and you don't want this role anymore but spirits saying you want to know where you shine exactly where you are exactly who you are and what you're doing and if you're not happy in in your current um, situation your current job you can have more you can go somewhere else you just gotta have patience with the timing and the process okay but it's like where you shine is you being you and this is so interesting because I did not expect a message like that I expected because um, the first two were quite specific but this one is like no you shine at being you emotionally mentally spiritually okay and then with these uh, nine and ten of wands you get the you get it all done like you don't half ass anything you will put in the time dedication pay attention to the detail like whatever it takes that's a gift you are rare you don't know it though Eight of Wands. Yeah, you just have more energy. Sometimes you don't even know where it comes from. Seven of Swords. Judgment. See, you are called to lead. Three of Wands. You're waiting for your moment, though. Herophant. And King of Swords. Wow. Got that. King of Swords coming through twice. So some of you may be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. I just, I keep seeing you thinking of yourself as small, as like I should be more than I am and I the way that spirit's showing you to me, I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Like, who could keep up with you? A lot of people probably get very intimidated by you and in, in what you're able to do and what you're able to accomplish. In fact, your energy feels very similar um, to this coworker that I had back in my accounting days. She could just get things done like nobody I'd ever seen. And she she very much like your energy did not recognize her worth and value and and what she truly does bring to the table because when again you're not appreciated and, and told frequently like what would I do without you you're so helpful you're so this you're so that like you kind of lose a sense of the impact and the value that you really do bring on the daily just because people aren't always noticing it don't think it's not there. The moment that it stops is the moment that they're going to start saying something about it, right? And that's something else that can get very frustrating, right? Is you're doing your job, you're doing everything as you're supposed to, but the moment that, that you know, something goes wrong, it's like, oh my gosh, why is this? And, and it's a huge freak out, you know? Nobody notices the light that's on until it goes out, right? So know that you are seen by the angels you are acknowledged where you shine is you being who and what you are you're incredibly talented you're incredibly gifted and again like you can do the work of three and you keep it all together 
and that alone is a gift, a talent in itself. It is. And a lot of what you experience, I just, like, I see you signed up for that. Like, you are the go-to person, like, even in your friend's circle, in your family, like, you can be counted on. You always find a way. You always have an answer. You always have a solution. And that's where you shine. And Spirit wants you to embrace that and own that about yourself. Because there are very few yous. Well, there's only one of you in this world. But somebody with the level of emotional, mental, and spiritual energy that you bring to everything. It's rare. Right. So let's see. We had three jump. Right. So here's the artwork on the first card. Three-eyed raven, as sunrise hits upon the dew, a messenger raven crawls out with news. Prepare for the unexpected. See, there's going to be some unexpected good things, some unexpected good news coming your way very soon. Here is the next door, and it's, oh, look, 1111. Numbers and doubles, synchronicity in two, don't hold back your love now life is meant for you. Your love now, I'm, I totally butchered that. Sorry, I didn't see the semicolon there. Numbers and doubles, synchronicity in two. Don't hold back. Your love now, life is meant for you. Pass this on. That's so beautiful. I'm sorry I butchered. And here is the last artwork. It says begin here. Do not fear what travel brings. My dear, the moment is yours. Begin now here. I feel the more that you accept and embrace who and what you are, more people are going to start noticing you and rewards being bestowed upon you. Okay, Spirit's like, know that you're good. Know that you're worthy. Know that you're needed. Know that it would fall apart without you. That's the absolute truth. Like I said, if all the truck drivers decided they were done truck driving, supply chain totally hosed same thing if, if there was nobody to run the trains or the ships right or even planes what would happen every single person counts and what they bring and contribute to this world we all work together and the more that you have appreciation for yourself and what you do and what you bring to the table I feel like more abundance and gifts comes into your life. Call upon Archangel Michael and Joe Fiel to help you in doubt, but you are meant to be a leader and you will shine. You definitely should look into owning your own business if you don't already. You're meant to be a leader. You already are. Do you know that yet? Like Maybe that's the question. Do you know that you're a leader and that's where you're meant to shine? And the leader is just very natural and innate to who you are. That's so beautiful. All right, so those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.